Yorkshire take charge thanks to Lithe and Brook 50s. The first round told a familiar tale for these two. Both played their way to draws, both matches featured some impressive knocks, but both would be hoping to convert their promising starts into the wins needed to get their campaigns up and running in earnest. Yorkshire chose to bat first and got off to a rapid start, scoring at 7 and over. But Darren Stevens struck, as he so often does, the visitors' aggressive opening contributing to the departure of Cola Cadmore, strangled down the leg side. The 50 came soon after, just seven overs taken to get there. Live had picked up where he left off last week, the score rattling towards 100 when he reached a half century of his own, coming off 43 balls. He and Tom Lowton guided Yorkshire into three figures, Kent unable to follow up their early blow with another wicket. But they'd pick up their second just before the interval. Podmore and Robinson combined to remove Lowton, and the score at lunch was 128 for two. Root's return was reined in. The England skipper was only able to add 11 to the total before he fell shortly after the resumption. But Lyde's attention was now surely turning to a ton. He played his way into the 90s and was one shot away when his knock came to an end at the hands of Milnes. Brooke and Tattersall dealt well with the opener's departure. They soaked up pressure as the score ticked up towards 200. A 50 was forthcoming for Brooke. Yorkshire now passed 200 runs. He reached the landmark of 72 balls, an eighth boundary getting him there. He'd go on to fall for 54 though, Cummins the man to remove him for Kent. Bess almost followed, but it would be Tattersall who fell at the end of the session. His wicket reduced Yorkshire to 240 for 6 at the interval. The resumption brought with it the 250 mark. Bess and Thompson were a dangerous partnership and they threatened to take control of the game. Another Thompson boundary ensured the seventh wicket pairing was worth 50 runs, but Kent struck to separate the two. Best the man to go, out for 36 to Darren Stevens. Then it was the turn of Thompson's wicket to tumble. That man Stevens with another wicket in his next over. Yorkshire now eight down. Patterson and Willie took the score past 300. The pair now looking to guide the visitors to the close without further loss, but their partnership was a fruitful one. Not only did they breeze past 300, they began to score quickly. 50 runs added for the ninth wicket off just 56 balls. By the time they reached the close of play, the pair had taken Yorkshire to 358 for eight, and both looked hungry for more runs.